Hi, my name is Kevin Liu, and I'm from Norwell, Massachusetts. And this summer, just after graduating from Northeastern University, I spent two months biking across the country with a couple of medical students from the University of Connecticut. We flew our bikes out to Seattle and biked through the Cascades, the Rockies, the Plains of Montana, the Badlands, all the way around the Great Lakes, and then through the Appalachians, and back home to Boston. We did a lot of camping in national forests and trailer parks, but sometimes we were actually lucky enough to have people let us stay in their homes. We snuck onto the Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan to do a lap just one week before the first NASCAR race of the season. We had to wake up at 3 a.m. to catch the ferry from Milwaukee across Lake Michigan. Out in western Pennsylvania, they actually paved over all these old railroad tracks and turned them into bike paths. On July 4th, actually, the Indian family that runs the one grocery store in Chester, Montana, decided to make an Indian buffet for the whole town. Obviously, we joined in and ate quite a bit. This is probably the most memorable time of the trip. It's Logan Pass in Glacier National Park. You start, I think, around 2,000 feet and go way into the clouds. And on your left, you've got tour buses passing you. On the right, it's like a 2,000 foot drop. It's pretty nerve-wracking to look left or right or down, so we just look forward and try not to think about it. Needless to say, climbing up 6,000 feet is pretty exhausting. The melting snow though forms these waterfalls that go all the way up and down the road and pull into these almost like, turquoise lakes at the bottom of the valley. It's really beautiful. At the end of the day, we cook up whatever food we picked up over the campfire. We actually tried a McDonald's hamburger once. Somehow, the eating miles a day from sun to sundown never got boring. I think when you're away from home that long, you really experience the landscape and the weather, and especially the people you meet and chat with in a really different way. This was probably the most dangerous day of the trip. Right as we got to the top of Sherman Pass, this huge thunderstorm caught us. And as we were going down, the rain turned into these hailstones the size of golf balls. So we'd have thunderclaps left and right and trucks coming up and down the road and this hail just hitting us all the time. This was one of the days where we did a little bit of hitchhiking. I think if you've got the energy and the patience, a bike is one of the best ways to see the country and meet the people and maybe find out a bit about what you're made of in the process.